so hey everyone and welcome back to a new video and uh, this video is after a really really long time and uh, uh, i've been pretty busy with my work and my job so i would not make some time to record the video but i'm back again with a new video and uh, i'm sure this is going to help many of you guys because it really helped me uh, when i build when i was building my own product so uh, what this video is all about and i hope you guys have already got the idea from the uh, from the title and the description and also the thumbnail maybe so uh, in this video i'm going to talk about how can we integrate or we can you know how can we set up ck editor in our next js application where we are using uh tailwind and uh, also uh typescript so uh, i so the thing is when i was working on my project and i needed to install uh, what you see is what you get editor uh, in my in my project but i could not find any particular source where i can you know take help from like how can i integrate it so i decided uh, why not i should do it when i was able to successfully you know integrate that so yeah here we are and uh, in the next few minutes you guys will be getting what i am going to show you here so inside this uh, our editor we can come here right uh, anything you know like uh, hello world and uh, and we can change the height of the paragraph and if you guys just enter here you can see the the output here so uh, what this does is you can write anything inside it and you will see how exactly uh, it will look when when you know when you are going to save it in the database and then retrieve it later and also i'm going to show you how can we do it something like this so yeah moving forward like uh, if I write something like L, L like I am Suryan Shu Tiwari, and uh, yeah, so you can add so many things like bullet points here and the number of points as well. Not just to go like this. Also, we can you know justify the alignment of our code. We can add tables here as well. Add the data in the table, and we can also add the images here. So if I go like here, we have so. This is how we can add the image here, and uh, now you can see like we have everything that we just added here. So yeah, so this is how it is. It will be looking uh, after the complete implementation. So let's just dive right into the code and see how it's going to work. Okay, so what I want you guys to do is uh, come to your terminal or command prompt or anything you are using. Just to go and type npx create next app and then at the rate latest and then you can uh, call your application whatever you want i'm going to call it uh, test uh, ck editor uh, so yeah we can we are good with that so click enter and uh, let it set it up so we are going to use that script okay we are not going to use es link tailwind yes and we can uh, put the code inside src or we cannot it doesn't matter anyway so I'm going to press yes here and then router turbo pack yes no and then we are ready to set up our application and uh, I will come back just after the installation guys. Okay, so the app is now installed. Now we can go to our application inside it. Just the CK editor. Here we are. Now clear it up. And uh, now what we can do is uh, we are going to need a few packages to install. So I'm going to install them one by one. So the name of the first package is uh, CK Editor Build Classic. So here we are. So I'm going to use npm install CK Editor Classic Build. And the next package is uh, CK Editor 5 React. And the last one is CK Editor 5. We may or may not need it later, but uh, uh, for now we are going to install it. And now we press enter, and all these packages are now going to be installed. So we wait for some time and wait for them to get installed. Okay, so the packages are now installed. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to open the code editor, VS Code that I'm going to use here. And uh, here is our code editor. And I hope you guys can see. Uh, if not, I'm going to increase. Uh, okay, so uh, this is our code editor. 
now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new route here. Uh, we can call it editor. So this will be our route, and inside the editor, I'm going to create a page dot esx, and also I'm going to create a separate uh, folder with name underscore components. And inside this, I'm going to create a new folder, a new file actually, which will be called ck editor dot esx. And now I have a prepared code that uh, is pretty long, and I did not want to write the complete thing um, in the in the video. So I'm just going to put it here, and we can go through that. So here is the code we have. So this is the code that I that we are going to use. Now let's go through that. What it is? So I I am importing the CK editor from uh, CK editor slash CK editor five React. And here are all the tools that we have, we just saw in our editor. So we are going to integrate all these tools here. Uh, and it they are from CK Editor 5. And also I'm going to import, you know, this uh, CK Editor 5 CSS. So uh, we can get all the styling which are inside the CK Editor. So, you know, it, it will work like uh, what you see is what you get editor. Here is our interface that we are getting some data from the main component that we will be defining in here and um, uh, editor data, set editor data. So we can just that just pass the data through props. Okay, so and on, handle on update. So whenever the data is updated uh, in the in in the you know uh, in the editor, so it will be passed through that function to the parent component that will be like this editor component. And here we have just a basic uh, console log to see what is going to be printed in the editor data. And then now here we have our main actual seek editor component. So this component will take the editor, which will be classic editor, license key GPL. So uh, you can just put it here. So GPL is um, uh, basically, you know, a free, uh, free tier uh, license key. So and here we have decided, uh, we have, you know, uh, added all our plugins that we are going to use, such as the auto format, block quote, bold, cloud service, headings, images, captions, italic, bold, and all, all link, list. And uh, here we have a table, underline, source editing. So, yeah, these are all the plugins that we are going to use. And then this is the toolbar. And uh, these uh, toolbars, we can, um, you know, add and uh, get access to them. Uh, we can create our text bold. So these toolbars are basically going to uh, going to talk to the plugins here. So this bold text is going to, you know, going to get uh, the data from this bold and make the, make the text inside the editor bold. And uh, similarly for uh, other things. And now we have some other options here, like for headings, uh, we have, um, uh, the model paragraph, we can give the title and then we can give some custom classes to it. So we are going to see it later. And uh, similarly for, uh, uh, so for, you know, paragraphs, heading, heading one, two, three, and then for image, we have resize option. And then for uh, image, we have these other toolbars. And for font colors, we gave some custom font colors. So you, know, you guys can go ahead and create your own color and uh, you can give it to the, uh, to the text editor. And uh, for font background color, this is basically, you know, the, the background color, the background um, uh, which will be behind the font, so all the text that you will be writing. And uh, yeah, so for links, we have this, and for table, we have this uh, content toolbar. And uh, the initial data is going to be basically the editor data that we are going to set. Now inside the on change, we are getting our handle on update and uh, we are passing the data uh, which we can call it description or anything i'm going to call it description for now so yeah so so it doesn't you know uh, mix up with this data and on focus and on blur is basically when we click inside uh, click inside the editor it will print the edit, editor focused when we click outside uh, the editor it will print uh, editor blur so we can use it for our use cases like uh, um, like we can say debounce or anything. So yeah, this is our uh, editor component here. Now inside this uh, uh, main editor component, 
uh, I'm going to paste the code that I have already prepared and uh, so we don't waste time writing it from scratch and we can go through it. So we are just importing our seek editor from component underscore component slash seek editor. Here are some use states uh, that I have already defined. And this is our handle on update. So uh, why I have written this field is equal to description because uh, uh, there could be you know many uh, different editors in here and uh, uh, this basically checks if the field is description or uh, like if i go if i give in this title here so it will not you know uh, get the data from this particular uh, editor and yeah we will not be able to set the data in here so i'm just checking if the field that i'm getting from handle on update function is a description then i'm going to set the data in the set data you state and uh, I will pass this handle on update to this seek editor component and uh, the rest of the uh, you know, props like uh, set editor data and editor data. So this will take the data back from the seek editor and uh, uh, set inside these use states. So uh, we just saw how can we you know print the data that we are writing inside the seek editor how we are going to do it so if you take a look inside this div uh, we can actually like uh, go ahead and make it like this so if we take a look uh, inside this particular div uh, we have this attribute called dangerously set in our html so what this does is if we have you know uh, let's just take an example here um, so if we have our uh, our component like this so editor and then you know make it like uh, hello so what uh, this uh, going to do is it will take this and it will count it as you know the html and uh, similarly how we see in in the in a normal html code inside the body it is going to parse it in the html format instead of the jsx format like we do that here so uh, and, and we know that the data inside the uh, text editor will uh, will be sent in this particular format so we can see that later so for now just understand that uh, this dangerously set in the html basically works as the body inside the normal html code and uh, then this uh, tag here html and so uh, uh, we can set the data to this html so it will be parsed inside this particular div and then we can give any you know class to this div according to our need so uh, yeah i think this is uh, for the basic um, you know basic setup now we can go ahead and run our code so if i clear this terminal and i run pnpm there so we have our uh, on the local host 3000 now let's uh, run our browser here and we have our browser here now let's uh, uh, just uh, open localhost 3000 and we have our application here so now just go to the go to the route that we just created which is the slash editor and you can see the and the background here does not look so nice here so what we are going to do we are going to make some changes in the css here in the global.css um we are going to you know comment both these things here and also this here so yeah and now we go our go to our application and we have a fine looking background now if i go inside and uh, type anything like hello and uh, you guys can see i'm getting the data similar to it now if i open the console here i hope you guys can see the console i'm just going to put it here I'm going to increase the height and see the info here. So let's clear it up and uh, write, uh, come back and write anything. Okay. So this is PK editor. So see here, uh, the data inside the editor is coming in this particular P tag because the paragraph tag is here selected. Now if I go and select the H1 here, it will say uh, hello world. And you can see in the next line, we have this. Uh, hello tag but there's something different i selected h1 here but uh, the, the the text inside this text editor is not in the h1 format that's because the tailwind uh, we are going we are using 
uh, in this uh, in this code it is messing up with the you know with the, the uh, with the predefined ck editor css so what we can do is we can revert the uh, complete uh, css for this particular ck editor and uh, i have already uh, the code here and uh, if you guys want it i can uh, add the gist in the description below or you can just find the code in the github repo of this particular editor and it will be public so you guys can go ahead and uh, star it fork it or uh, just do whatever you want to do with it yeah so here is the css code that we are going to use i'm going to paste it okay so guys this is the css that uh, uh, i have found to fix the issues that we were not seeing the, the um, we are not seeing the heading and the other stuff as well so if i go back and uh, revert this and make and uh, show you what other issues we have so if i click on this uh, bulleted list and if i click on it you will see there is no bullet list even if there is ulli so yeah there are multiple things multiple issues that you're going to face so let's just go and paste the code here now clear it up and if i go back now and refresh the page okay and refresh the page here and now if i write anything like uh, hello this is the ck editor now if i go down and then press h1 and see right uh, oh this is h1 tag now for bullets i can go here right right uh, this uh, is bullet text so yeah so this is how you guys can go ahead and uh, implement uh, the seek editor in your application and i hope this helped you guys really well because it took me a long long time to uh, to you know integrate this in the next js application when we have no reliable source no video over the youtube to fix that and uh, i just hope uh, you guys can like uh, get help any kind of uh, any kind of help with this video and uh, yeah thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video because i will be uploading something new really soon and this is it peace out let me know if you like the video and uh, what you guys want more i will be making the video on that particular topic so yeah thank you